say, kids, what time is it? <laughs> Well, howdy, duty, kids, and howdy, Buffalo Bob. Well, howdy there, Mr. Duty, and boys and girls at home and all my kids in the gallery, let's go. Come on over this way, because I want to show you something that's as familiar to you as Clarabel or the Flubadob or anyone else in the circus. And here it is. The triple treat candy bar that comes in the big white wrapper with the big three musketeers on it. The wrapper that means you're getting the best in candy eating goodness. And boy, do you know what else it means? You tell them, Buffalo Bob. Oh, you bet I will, howdy doody. Well, now, kids. Right now, this wrapper really, really means something extra special. Because you know, kids, one wrapper and 15 cents in coin will bring you a set. A whole set of the beautiful Howdy Doody Christmas cards that we're just waiting to send each and every one of you boys and girls. Eight wonderful cards in gay Christmas colors. Red, blue, green, and yellow, every color of the rainbow. And you get eight envelopes, too. And you know, boys and girls, every single one of these beautiful, colorful cards has a different verse on it. Now, let's look at this one here of Clarabelle and, and me. It says, Buffalo Bob and Clarabelle pull out a magic bunny to join with me in saying, hope your Christmas is a honey. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, sir. And kids, if you want to make a big hit with all your friends this Christmas, you send in today for these terrific cards. Now, here is all you have to do. Just mail your name and address and one wrapper from either a Three Musketeers or a Snickers candy bar and only 15 cents in coin. Mail that to me, Howdy Doody, Box ZZ, Chicago 77, Illinois. And remember, kids, Christmas only is about two months away. So you write in tonight for your eight Howdy Doody Christmas cards and envelopes. That a boy, Howdy. Well, now, kids, you know, yesterday, Ugly Sam really, really did us a great, great favor. Did you see what he did yesterday? Kids, he dressed up as Chief Dripping Wet, and he talked to Mr. Bluster, and believe me, he fooled Mr. Bluster. Yes, me do good job. <laughs> oh, boy, you did a great job, Sam, but, but you know, Ugly Sam, the, the, the job's only half finished. You yeah. gotta finish it today. Yeah. That right. Yesterday, me started telling Mr. Buster that I am a gazinka. That's right, and he asked you to come back today and prove to him that you are a gazinka. Yeah, boy, that's going to be tough because, well, I don't know, and you don't know, and, uh, and not one of us knows what a gazinka is. Yeah, and remember something else, Sam. Now, Chief Buster wants a perfect gazinka, too. Oh, boy, well, how do you... It's just about time for, for me to meet Mr. Uh, Chief Buster again. Yeah. So, uh... Maybe you and Buffalo Bob, maybe you better go hide, huh? Oh, boy, okay, boy, you're brave, Sam. Yeah. Gosh, well, what are you ever going to say when Mr. Buster makes you prove that you're a gazinka? I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, oh, well, yeah, I don't know, Holly. I'll, I'll just have to use my brains. Yeah, and, and I hope that I do the right thing because, boy, if he ever finds out that I am really ugly Sam, woe is me. Oh, woe well, well, is me. Good luck, Chief Dripping Wet. Good luck, fella. I'm gonna leave. Good luck. All right, so long, Howdy. Now, look, you kids, you've got to help, too. Now, look, will all you kids promise that you won't tell Chief Bluster for one second that Chief Dripping Wet is actually Ugly Sam? You won't tell him, now, will you, kids? No. Will you be in on the secret? No. All right, good. Thanks very much. And now, Clarabelle, now, look, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to come with me, too. Now, I don't want you to go spoiling anything, see? So, look, let's you and I go, Clarabelle. Hide, Howdy's hiding back there. The kids are going to be nice and quiet. We'll hide behind here and no noises. No no talking, no horn honking, nothing. Now, come on back here. Good luck, Sam. Yeah. Good, good, good luck, ugly Sam. Good luck, ugly buffalo. Oh, boy. What is a gazinka? What is a gazinka? What, what am I going to tell Buster? What am I going to say? Oh, 
Oh, boy, oh, dear. Oh. Well, 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 you're right on time. How, Chief? Dripping well? Uh, um, oh, Buster, Chief, how? I, I mean, uh, 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 how, Chief? How, Buster? Uh, 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 I mean, how, Chief Buster? What's the matter with you, my boy? You act so nervous. <clears throat> yes, yes, I, I'm sorry, Chief Buster. You see, I, uh, I, uh, I always get nervous when I talk to big, important people like you. You, you know, the great number one chief of the Aragnacs. Yes, I am great, and my Aragnacs are great. Aragnac, 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 Aragnac. Good, good. I see you know about my Aragnac chair. When I yell Aragnac, Aragnac, you yell it after me, just as you did. Uh, yes. <clears throat> yes, I, I know all about Aragnacs. I like Aragnacs. That is why I want to join your tribe. <clears throat> well, that's good, good. Yeah. Now, Chief Dripping Red, let's get down to business. Yesterday, you told me you were a good thinker. That right. And as you know, I want Gazinkas. I need 250,000 Gazinkas for my tribe. Sure, sure. I know, I know, Chief. Uh, that's why I came to see you, because I am a Gazinka. I am a sensational Gazinka. Good, good. Well, that's what I like to hear. But my friend, you have to prove it to me. In my tribe, I can use only perfect gazinkas. Perfect gazinkas, do you understand? I understand. I understand. Yes. Uh, Chief Tripping, what is a perfect gazinka? Well, you better be. I won't want any part of you. My gazinkas must be perfect. I don't want any mediocre gazinkas. No, uh, no halfway gazinkas, no dinky gazinkas, no fair to midland gazinkas, none of that. I must have perfect gazinkas. Do you understand? Do you understand? I understand. I understand. Uh, well, good. Then go ahead. I am ready to watch. Prove to me that you are a perfect gazinka. Sure. Sure, I'd be glad to prove it. Uh, 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 pardon me, Mr. Bluster. Uh, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, would you mind repeating it again? Stop your stalling! I said prove that you're a gazinka. Go ahead now, prove it. Sure. Sure, be. I'd be glad to have. Uh, but, uh, uh, say, I, um, oh, I, I have a better idea, Mr. Buster. Uh, uh, we're pals, so why, why don't you take my word for it? No, 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 I want to see it. I want to see you do it. I want you to get zinc for me right now. Well, I, I, I would love to gazink for you this second, Mr. Buster, but, uh, I'm afraid, I, uh, I'm afraid I just don't know how to gazink without a kangaroo to do your gazinking in. Oh, of course, Dripping Red, how stupid of me. What? 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 How oh, stupid of me. Here I stand asking you to gazink, and everybody knows that you can't gazink unless you have a kangaroo. I'm sorry, Chief Dripping Red. You know, I was so excited that I rushed you into it before I even made sure there was a kangaroo here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, Chief Buster. <laughs> what, uh, whatever you say. Sure, whatever you say, Chief Buster. Uh, anything you say is okay with me. But, now look, uh, Dripping Red. <clears throat> I tell you what. I'll go out and get the uh, big kangaroo because, uh, as we both know, <laughs> and as I uh, stupidly forgot, you can't gazinka without a kangaroo. So you can't prove to me that you are a gazinka until I supply you with a kangaroo. So I'll be back in a few minutes and I'll bring the kangaroo and then you can prove it to me, okay? Sure. 
Sure. Anything you say is fine with me. Oh, Merry Christmas was out of clothes shave. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh, who's talking? Oh, oh gosh, who's talking? I, I did it, I did it, I did it. <laughs> now I heard your voice out here. What did you say? Oh, well, um, I said, uh, uh Mr. Buster, yes. I said, uh, this Christmas, I, uh, this Christmas I'm gonna have my first shave. That's it. Yep, uh, yep. Are you sure that's what you said? Um, no. <laughs> hmm. You don't look like you need a shave today. Well, I, I, I may grow a beard, though, between now and Christmas. I just thought maybe I might. Uh, you just thought maybe I may grow a beard between... Oh! <laughs> What are you talking about? Well, I... Uh, now, wait a minute. You've got me all mixed up. I was talking to sheep dripping with yeah, you. you know, I, I like Christmas. Well, bully it. for you. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, merry bully to you. I don't happen to feel like talking about Christmas right now. Well, I'm having a secret talk with this man here, and I want you to leave us alone. Goodbye, howdy. Oh, this man. I didn't even see him. Well, uh, mm. hello, mister. Uh, who are you? Uh, oh, uh, how? Me, Chief Dripping Wet. Who are you? I, I'm one of the duty boys. Howdy is the name. And uh, now, now, Mr. Buster, about Christmas. Uh, I, thought, I don't want to talk about Christmas. I, oh, and you don't want me to talk about Christmas? No, 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 no. All right, well, then I'll, I'll sing about it. Oh. Uh, oh, can't you see? It's going to be a howdy-doody Christmas. A howdy-doody Christmas for all good girls and boys. Can't you see the Christmas tree? Its star is shining brightly. As Santa Claus so sprightly drops in with all his toys. You will tingle when this tingle plays his jingle bell. It's brighter than the music of a million carousels. Oh, can't you see? It's going to be a howdy-doody Christmas. A very, very merry, merry, very merry howdy-doody Christmas for you. Oh, and a boy, howdy. Good going. That was swell. Thanks a minute. And say, kids, now look, if you really, really want to make it a Howdy Doody Christmas, you send in tonight for a set of these swell Howdy Doody Christmas cards and envelopes. And you know, kids, you can have your set just as easy as pie. All you do is to send your name and address and one wrapper from either a Three Musketeers or a Snickers candy bar and only 15 cents in coin. Now you send that to Howdy Doody. Box ZZ, Chicago, 77, Illinois. And say now, kids, here's something for you to remember. Maybe you'll want more than just one set of these colorful cards. Well, now, if you do, you can have more than one set. Now, here's what happens, kids. In addition to sending them to your friends, well, it'd be swell if you'd have a, a set for your own. You might want to paste them into your scrapbook, or you might want to decorate your room. Or you can write in for as many, many sets as you like, but now be sure to send one wrapper and 15 cents for each set that you want. Well, Ugly Sam, boy, I've really got to congratulate you. You did a great job there, Sam. Oh, uh, Jay Butler, Bob, thanks a lot, but boy, I was in a tight spot there for a minute, you know. Yeah. I, I, I thought Buster would find out because he didn't want me to know how Gazink is uh, uh, work, you know. When Buster said... Uh, yeah, he said that in, in order to be a Gazinka, you got to have a kangaroo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, gee, that was wonderful. Well, at least we learned one thing. Yeah. We learned that... Gazinka does his gazinking with a kangaroo. Yeah, that's right, Sam. But now look. Yeah. There's evidently plenty more that we have to find out. Yeah. Before we really know what a gazinka is. Yeah, you're right. So do me a favor. You be ready to keep on fooling Bluster, right? Okay, yeah. And when he shows you the kangaroo. Yeah. I just hope, Sam, that you'll do the right thing. Well, boy, I've been lucky so far. I just hope our luck continues. Boy, I do too. Boy. Well, now, wait a minute, Sam. I, I, I know that you have enough of a job already, but... But when you talk to Buster again, yeah. why don't you see if you can find out one more thing? Yeah? Ugly Sam, you try to find out how many gazinkas he has. Because, boy, that might help us. All that's right, right, honey. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, oh, wait, here's a chief now. Here's a chief now, yeah. <laughs> Howdy! I must ask you a favor. A favor? Oh, what, Chief Buster? Uh, <clears throat> uh, there's some L for you outside. Why don't you go and read it? Oh, you want to get rid of me, huh? Uh, for a few minutes, yes. Goodbye, my little papoose. Yeah, well, Mr. Buster, I'm going to surprise you. Uh, how? By going right away. I love to read mail. Oh, so long, Mr. Buster. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye, honey.
Oh, uh, no, Buffalo Bob. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Buster. Uh, Hi, Mr. Uh, Buster. Uh, listen, Skippy, there's some mail for you, too, kid. Some mail? Goodbye, Buffalo Bob. Oh, some mail from yes. the Boys and Girls. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Fine. I'll, I love to read mail from the Boys and Girls. Excuse me. Good Mr. luck. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Yes. Uh, see you later, boy. Uh, oh, Clarabelle. Clarabelle, uh, uh, there's a half a postcard for you, too. Yeah, uh, go out and read it. And when you're through reading it, reread it again. Memorize it. But get out of here. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, that was easy. Those three are gone now. So now, Chief Dripping Wet, uh, look behind the curtains and you'll find a big, delicious kangaroo. Oh, boy, oh, boy, gee, Chief Buster, I hope I'm uh, as lucky as I... Oh, boy, this is beautiful. Wait, I'll, I'll bring it out here. I'll bring it out here. Yeah, I'll just stick it over here now. Uh, is that all right, Chief Buster? Yeah, it's fine. Now, go ahead and start to gazink. Oh. Yeah. Here we go again. Uh, I... Uh, Start the gazink. Oh, uh, uh, Chief, Chief Blaster, I, uh, I am very shy. I am very bashful. I don't like the gazink in front of all these people. Well, now, I don't blame you for being bashful, my boy. I was bashful the first time I gazink, too. Uh, look, oh, yeah. now, to make you feel better, my boy, how about letting me give the instructions while you do the gazinking? Great. Fine. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, now, if you do it perfectly, Chief, you will be my second gazinka. Yeah. You only have two gazinkas? Uh, that's right, my boy. And if you work out, uh, you will be my second. Oh, oh, and, oh dear, I need 250,000 altogether. Uh, we, uh, we'd better hurry now. All right, now, go ahead and start, because uh, you know what to do, my boy. Get in the pouch. Uh, yeah. In the pouch? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 in the Good. Now, uh, uh, do the secret of the gazinkas. Uh, yes, the secret of the gazinkas. Oh. Go ahead, my boy. Go ahead. Crouch, crouch, crouch in the pouch. Oh, a gazinka is a pouch croucher. Wow. We found that out. Yes. <laughs> Only a few of us know that secret, Chief. Uh, when did you first find out that a gazinka is a pouch? Croucher. Oh, uh, what's the difference? Uh, I know it, I know it, I know it. What a gazinka is a pouch croucher. Hey, dripping red, let's go. Crouch, man, crouch. Crouch in the pouch. All right. Uh, I'm crouching. Let's see, Chief. More. 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 Oh, already crouch more. <laughs> now you must crouch until you're completely invisible. <laughs> Now, you must hide yourself completely in the pouch, and then you will be a perfect pouch croucher. Oh. A perfect gazinka. Oh. More, more, more. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. Crouch more. I'm almost in this crouch. Keep, uh, keep crouching, my boy. All the way. All the Easy. way, all the way. Crouchy, wouchy. Oh, wouchy, grouchy. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. You are perfect! Oh, Chief Dripping Wet, you're, you're, you're completely hidden. I can't see even even an itsy-bitsy one inch of you. Why, you're a perfect pouch croucher. You may join my tribe, Chief Dripping Wet, because you are a perfect gazinka. Oh, boy! Oh, ouch! Oh, my back! Uh, I must call Chief Thunder now and tell him right away. I now have my second gazinka. Oh, what a happy day. Oh, what a happy day for Chief Buster. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> Ugly Sam. Yeah, you were wonderful. Come on out here. All right. Hey, you were great. Well, wait a minute. I, I can't get through the train style of the subway. Oh, sorry. See, Sam, you oh. did. How did you sneak <laughs> Somebody, in there? Someone's working me. My, uh, my, I, I could tell, you see, by the, by the tone of my feet, yeah. that, my, that my knees were broken. Well, poor yeah. Sam, you did a great job, buddy. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. You all are oh, 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 o
Holy Sam, you were sensational. Right, but well, Bob. Now, look, I tell you what, oh, I think you better do. You better rest a while. You better lie down because you're exhausted. Now, I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, talk to me later. Sam, you were sensational. Oh, boy, I'm yes, tired. This is our lucky day. Can you imagine what a gazinka is? Now, who knows? What's a gazinka? It's a... What is it, sweetie? A pouch... A pouch crouch. A pouch croucher. A gazinka is a person who hides inside the pouch of a kangaroo, and then nobody can see him. I think that's sensational. Well, we finally know, kids, what a gazinka is. But just think, Mr. Bluster said that he needs 250,000 of them. Boy, that's a lot of gazinkas, you know that? And he only has two so far. Well, we'll see what happens. But I'm sure glad we found out what a gazinka is. Oh, kids, look over here. O. B. A. L. T. I. N. E. Ovaltine. Ah, good going, Clarabelle. Thank you very much. And now, boys and girls, tell me something. What does Ovaltine make you think of? Something... Something good to drink. Yes, sir, that is so right. Ovaltine makes you always think of something good to drink because Ovaltine is so good to drink. Ovaltine tastes good, kids, and it's so good for you. Yes, sir, boys and girls, chocolate-flavored Ovaltine is really a swell-tasting food drink that gives you lots of the things that you must have to be at your very best in school and at play. Hot Ovaltine with breakfast is a swell way to start the moving. And you know it tastes good, kids, and it feels so good in your tummy. So now you enjoy a better breakfast with hot Ovaltine every morning. Say, that reminds me, kids, would you all like to sing our, our wonderful uh, little better breakfast song right now? Yeah. Come on, let's all sing it good and loud. Here we go. Hot Ovaltine with breakfast, say, that's the way to start your day. With lots of pep for school and play, hot Ovaltine in the morning. Ah, that is so right, kids, hot Ovaltine. Now, boys and girls, you ask your mommy to get you a jar of delicious chocolate-flavored Ovaltine at the store so that you can start drinking Ovaltine with your breakfast every single morning. Yes, sir, kids. How about it, huh? Oh, well, kids, I think I better go to Ugly Sam's room right now, Buffalo Bob, and, and I better keep him company for a while, and boy, I want to thank him 1,000 times for what he did. All right, how do you do that right away? And say, kid, I think we all owe Sam a big thank you, don't you? Yeah! How do you thank Sam for all the kids and me, too, will you please? And Clarabelle, we're going to rest a while with a movie. So, boys and girls, Clarabelle is going to show us an old-time movie there on our Howdy Doody Scope Doodle. And we've got a good one for you today. One with our buddies. Those three fellas, what are their names, kids? The tons of fun. What are their first names? Vic and Clint and and Bullets. That's right. Buffalo Vic and Buffalo Clint and Bullets. That's Detroit Bullets. All right, well, our kids, the tons of fun, Vic, Clint, and Bullets, and their sister, Esther, they're having a trip. Now, they're deciding that they're going to go to California, and they have to cross the desert to go to California. So they're on their way, and they're having a little bit of difficulty. Now, this is a little donkey here that... Uh, now, this is Buffalo Vic, and Buffalo Vic is trying to get the donkey across the stream, but the donkey doesn't want to go. So Vic says, now, how am I going to get this donkey to go across the stream? He says, I know. He says, I'll just pick him up, and I'll just walk in front of him, and he'll just have to follow me. That's the way. Oop! Buffalo Vic didn't do so well there, did he, kids? So he says, come on, donkey, would you please, donkey? But the donkey evidently doesn't like water, so Vic says, well, there's one way to get him across. Oop. Tried to carry him across, but he didn't do so well. He fell. So now here's Clinton Bullets. And they're having a little trouble there, too. Oh, this is nice. They got the straps crossed on the donkeys. Now let's see what's going to happen. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, that bullet, he's a good one. Nope. Look where Buffalo Clint landed, right on the cactus. So Sister Esther comes over there. Oh. 
<laughs> she threw the cactus right over to poor bullets. And there's Esther and Esther and Buffalo Vic fighting. They always fought Esther and Victor. Always. Always. Since they were little kids. Oh, Bullets happens to notice that his frying pan is going down the stream. She says, I gotta have my frying pan. Oop! Did you get it? Yep, he got it. Now Vic is helping. Oh, Vic was helping Esther onto the donkey, but he helped her too hard. Now Bullets is going to stand down. Esther's going to get on top of Bullets, and oh, just as he does, the donkey moves. Esther. And Buffalo Vic goes around the front end, holds the donkey, and now they're on their way. And the donkey looks around at the big load that he has to pull, and he says, uh-uh, no, sir, not me, buddy. Look at Bullets, has got all the stuff there in the canoe. For a minute, I thought they were off, but they're not. Just Esther's off. She's off the donkey. I wonder if they're ever going to get to California. Yes, sir. Audie, did you like that movie? Oh, yes, sir, Buffalo Bob. And now, kids, don't forget, boys and girls, you tell Mom that you want hot Ovaltine with your breakfast tomorrow. And remember now, kids, there are two kinds of Ovaltine. There's the chocolate flavored, and there's the plain. And if you're like most boys and girls, you'll want to ask for the sweet chocolate flavored kind. Oh, kids, you drink a steaming hot cupful with your breakfast every morning. That a boy, Howdy, we're not kids. You know, we learned two very, very important things today. First of all, kids, well, you know one thing. We found out that a gazinka is a pouch croucher. Yes, sir, a person who can hide perfectly in the pouch of an aragnac kangaroo so that the human eye can't see him. And secondly, Howdy, we learned that Buster has only two gazinkas. And he admitted, kids, that he needs 250,000 of them. So you know, Howdy. Things aren't looking very good for Chief Bluster after all. Oh, boy, you're right, Buffalo Bob. And tomorrow, kids, we're going to get our first report from the inspector. Yes, sir, boy, he's shadowing Thunderthought across to Australia by Aerodoodle. And, oh, boy, when we get the inspector's report, kids, I think that we'll be able to finish the Aragnax and turn Chief Bluster back to Mr. Bluster again. Ho, 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 ho. NBC Television.